What's up, guys? I'm doing a Cosmo Dragoon deck profile, and first off, I want to talk about my Shido life counter, which came in so clutch, especially against Zwei. I get to play like Zwei. I actually played against Gabe's Zwei deck and got to, like, 14 life thanks to this, but What's also Shido's name? best character. Oh, I'm Dylan, by the way. Yeah, I'm new here. Sorry, boys. All right, so we have uh, best flag, Tsuku, OG secret flag, um, with Bester, um, and I'll explain what Bester does later. So size threes. Uh, we play four Aldis, um, and what Aldis does is he's two gauge, and on uh, on call is he pops a monster, and his ability is uh, you can reveal top if it's a Cosmo Dragoon, pop a card on the field, and I actually just learned today that because it's not a named ability, you can just do it each time if you call more than one per turn. So And it comes in like really good against a bunch of different uh, decks. You get to pop items, pop spells, whatever. We'll move to size twos. Uh, so first we have Bradbury, who's easily the best card in the deck uh, right now. Um, he has Soul Guard, so you put uh, Pay Gauge, put Soul in, and uh, each time he attacks, uh, you reveal top, you deal a damage to your opponent, and you heal for one, and he gains double attack. And that happens each time he attacks, so it's not once per turn, and it just comes in so clutch, that's what allows uh, such big life gain. And he's just super good in general. Um, next we have uh, Clark, and Clark is the other big size two in the deck. Um, he is main during main phase. Uh, you reveal top card, and if it's Cosmo Dragoon, add it to your hand and gain double attack. Um, he also has move and soul guard, uh, and he's also really good. Next size ones we have uh, the buddy Bester, and uh, Bester is just on call. Reveal top three. Uh, put him in any order on top or bottom, and he has move, so he just comes in really clutch, gets to scry, gets to uh, search for things uh, to use for abilities. He's just good in general. He's always a good call. Um, and next, we have the other uh, MVP of the deck, which is Heinlein, and what Heinlein does is on call, um, and this is once per turn, it's a named ability. Uh, on call, you reveal top, it's a Cosmo Dragoon, add it to your hand and draw one, so it just is like a phenomenal card. Uh, that draw engine is really nice. Um, and lastly, we have the zeros. So we're playing four tip trees. Um, tip tree on call. Uh, put a Cosmo Dragon from your drop on top of your deck. It's just really good. You have so many ways of drawing that one card um, that you put on top. You know, ensuring you have a Cosmo Dragon for abilities, um, and it's just an all-around good card. And lastly, we have two um, Youngs, and Young is super good as well. You got to do a uh, Gal formation. What is it called? Like two, like second, whatever Gal oh, formation. Second generation. Yeah, Gal second formation. gen Gal formation. Clutch as fuck. Um, and you just what you do is you um, at the end of the battle, return to the bottom of your deck and uh, scry both two, put it at top or bottom. He's super good. Um, On to spells. We have four Cosmo Heal Protection, um, and this card is super good. It just, um, uh, you get to null if there's, you have a Cosmo Dragoon on your field and, um, and in open center, and what it does is it nulls the ability, you check top card. If it's a Cosmo Dragoon, you draw it and gain a life. So it's just like Arc Dragon Shield, and green shield combined and just really good but with no cost yeah with also with no cost <laughs> so super good and then we have cosmo charge protection which is also it sets up really well for heal protection what it does is uh so same thing uh you have to have a cosmo dragon your dragoon on your field and uh in open center you check top two put one into gauge one at the top of the deck and it sets up really nicely for heal protection and you get to choose what your next draw is next uh for the next turn then we have three space agents. Uh, this card's really nice. The gauge excels super clutch because sometimes this deck runs low on gauge, but you often have more gauge than you can count. Um, and all this does is you have a Cosmo Dragon on your field, gain three gauge, check top card, put it at top or bottom, and it's not once per turn. So you can just keep gaining gauge. It's really nice. Um, next we have four fifth focus. Um, this card you can only cast you have a Cosmo Dragon on your field um, and you pay a gauge uh, Look at top five Rearrange them put it at the top of the deck and draw a card So it just comes in super nicely you get to like Heinlein into things that are just super good and um, 
it's just an all-around good card. It lets you set up for the entire turn. Um, next, we have three Cosmo Salutes. All this does is uh, you charge uh, top card of the deck, draw one, check top, put it at top or bottom. Um, once again, the Gage Excel is really, really nice. Um, drawing cards is always good, and with this deck, you usually never dip b below like three or four cards in hand, and this card just helps that out even more. And you can set it up with fifth focus, so it's really nice. <coughs> and lastly, we have two Vivid Move. Um, what this does is it's a counter. You can put a Cosmo Dragoon on your field um, onto the top of your deck or uh, back in your hand. So it acts as another shield, kind of, um, and it's just a nice card to have in the deck. Next are items. Um, we have four Fahrenheit. Uh, this has 5k power, which comes in really, really nicely uh, a lot of times, and is actually why I run this at 4 and the other one at 2, because that 5k power does do a lot of work. Uh, so you pay a gauge, and when it attacks, you get to uh, check top 3 and rearrange um, and put it at the top of the deck. So it's really nice for Bradbury um, if you didn't get to check during main phase, stuff like that. <coughs> um, our last weapon is Black Clock. Um, pay a life for this. It's a uh, four, uh, four power, four K power, and uh, this one is like really nice against Zodiac, against new Darkness Dragon World stuff. Uh, you just get to uh, pay a gauge, check top card. It's counter pay a gauge, tep, check top card, and if it's Cosmo Dragon, stand a card on your field. Um, so it's really nice uh, if they rest it at the beginning of battle or whatever it might be. It's just a nice card to run. And lastly, we have. Uh, three of our impacts, which is Stardust Maneuver. Stardust Maneuver, uh, what it does is it's actually uh, misprinted. It says if you are at four or, less, uh, four or less life, it should be if your opponent is at four or less life. What you do is you pay two gauge. Um, oh, and you need a size, at least a size two or greater Cosmo Dragoon on your field. So you pay two gauge, um, check top card if it's a Cosmo Dragoon, deal four damage. Um, and this is really nice because it's searchable with like everything else in your deck because you get to scry and choose essentially what you draw or not, and it's just an all-around really good card. So that was the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. Watch all of our videos. Sideboard. Oh, sideboard. <laughs> That's important. Hell yeah. Um, so sideboard, we run two more vivid moves um, just in case they try to pop a lot of our monsters. Um, we also run two barbed wires. I don't love this card, but it's the only, like, rest we have and you know big weapons that are scary exist like uh like dragon force dragon style of justice is huge for this that target is big the regular dragon force for star dragon world all the dragon forces i guess are just like super good with this card um so that's really helpful uh we also have star alternative and this is uh i run one of so you pay a life and uh either put top two into your gauge or put a card um with a soul into the drop. So it's nice because this deck really struggles against walls, wall decks. Um, so it's just nice to have. We also run um, two crystal showers and this is a counter, put a soul from a card on the field into the drop and you gain a life. So it's essentially just better star alternative. Um, you get the life gain, which is really clutch sometimes. And like I said, a Thor is a big, you know, really screws this deck up and other wall decks like that. So it, it helps a lot. Um, and then we also have two, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Le Guin, I don't know, what, French? Uh, Le Guin? Yeah, yeah I, I guess. No uh, it's do. new. Um, what it does, I have two copies, is um, what it attacks, reveal the top card of your deck. And if it's Cosmo Dragoon, all cards on your field get plus 4k power. Um, once again, kind of nice for those hitting for big numbers. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Le it's Legin, like Guinness Book of World Records. Oh, Legin. Yeah. And then um lastly we have one Balso Lay. I would like to possibly run this at two, but it just comes in it's yeah, gave a surprise. Didn't expect that. Wow. But it's it's really nice. Clearing centers is just really good. And it's also seven three seven with double attack. Yeah, a seven three seven with double attack and reduces all burn damage, so like not even burn any other damage. <laughs> and and uh, any other damage, that's true, but it's especially good. <laughs> for I just didn't expect that wow. Yeah, it's completely out of nowhere. Um, and I'm gonna make room for this card. 
It's Negribles. Um, or Neg... Neggle balls. <laughs> Thanks for the great naming, Bushi Road. Um, and this is just for Cosmo. <laughs> Void Omni. Yeah, this is just for um against Chaos. Um, essentially, when a monster on your opponent's field dies, uh, deal damage equal to that. So, uh, and actually, there's um people don't know this, but with uh, what a Gear God's ability that it can sack something to stay on the field, it's technically destroyed. It's so just, they'll be taking, the, so they're still taking yeah. The so they're taking thirty plus the three that they they destroyed. So it's thirty three damage, and no, it's, it's just really good. Oh, it's oh, not. Which is well, does Kester just destroy a size three? Yeah, I think oh, it is thirty three. I, I, I believe it's thirty three. If I, if I know if I know the uh, if I know the word incorrectly, yeah. Um, so it's just a good card to have. I'll probably take out a lagoon a, a, a lagoon for it. <laughs> lagoon. L L <laughs> um. So yeah, that's the deck profile, and thanks. Cool. Um. Uh. Thank you for watching Dylan's profile. He's probably gonna have more stuff on here at some point. If he doesn't. He made his own channel, and we'll link that at some point if he if his team makes one. Oh yeah, because his team's thinking about that. So, Possibly. Um, thank you, YouTube, and have a good night.